Well, back here now, and a new revolution has hit Auckland's public transport system. You can now pay using your debit or credit card or other contactless payments. But as Zane Small reports, there's another milestone looming for Auckland. Fantastic. The Transport Minister and Auckland's Deputy Mayor demonstrating a new way to pay for public transport in the city. Today is a great uh, day for Aucklanders. Um, with Open Loop uh, being started on the public transport network. To be able to just tap and go on any card they have available, I think is super great. So really thrilled, we've been asking for this for a long time. So far this morning we've had 750 people use contactless payments to get on board public transport, so people know it's out there. There are a few things to remember if you're hopping on. For example, be sure to tap on and off with the same card or device to pay the correct fare. I think mean, it's going to make a game changer for Auckland in terms of just making it easier for people to use public transport. The only catch is if you still want your $50 weekly fare cap, you still have to use your AT Hop card. We are on a journey and this is a really big milestone. But another more controversial milestone looms for Auckland Transport. Next month it'll decide if it will proceed with 24-hour street parking charges in the city centre parking zone. The decision was delayed from July after backlash over lack of consultation. AT at the time said it was one of the ways we are addressing cost challenges. But figures show in the past four years, AT collected more than $40 million from a combination of paid parking transactions and parking infringements in the city centre. Is that not enough money to get by? You've got to remember, it's, it's real estate. People pay for private parking. Parking, You know, this is street parking, and in terms of that, it is a you know, desirable space. In terms of that, it, it's our role and responsibility to make sure that it's used productively. Fewer free parking options, perhaps but at least more ways to pay your way on public transport. OK, Zane, we're talking about Auckland there, but is the plan to roll out contactless payments across the country? Yes, that's right. Uh, we're told that Timaru and Christchurch will get contactless payments on public transport early next year, and then some other parts of the country at the end of 2026, though we haven't been told yet which parts of the country. Now, this is all part of the government's plan to eventually have a single unified uh, public transport payment system across the entire country. Now, it costs $20 million to have contactless payments here in Auckland. Remember, there's a huge amount of IT integration and testing that has to go on. But the Transport Minister told me today that to roll it out across the entire country will cost around $1.3 billion over 14 years. Zane Small, live from Auckland CBD, Tēnā Koe.